Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here, and I'm bringing you guys some more UFC 2 beta. As you guys can see, man, I'm switching screens real quick. You guys see my record is 4-1. and one. This is online. So, I am playing Ultimate Team online. I caught four Ws, took one L, but it's all good, man. Check it out. I'm away national, you know what I'm saying? Got my iPod King character ready. I told you guys, man, I was going to create a new character. His name was going to be iPod King because my other fighter's last name was Carter. And I forgot to actually delete him before creating a new one. So, his last name just has to be iPod King. Now, one thing that I have a grip with EA is that they cannot have iPod King Carter as a last name because it is too many characters. I'm going to go ahead and try to change that for next year's game or the year after that whenever they drop the next one. But for right now, I guess I just got to deal with iPod King, man. It's all good, though. But your boy is 17 years young. <laughs> Yo, this dude is 5'11 and has a longer reach than me. We have a problem, but we're going to go ahead and uh, skip through this Bruce Buffer. Nobody wants to see this. This is a non-contender fight, it looks like. Um, I don't see anybody with any belt. I don't see champion on anybody's shorts. So uh, this guy has a little bit of, you know, how should I say, muscle to him. And um, starting off, he starts with a nice little high kick, and he hits me with two head kicks. Oh, my God. So, uh, oh, my God. Yo, listen, first of all, you already know what type of fight this is going to be. This is going to be one of those clinch fights. Now, this dude is doing very well with his kicks. It looks like uh, he made might have created a kickboxer, but guess what I created? Those knees, man. I, I swear to God, UFC, when they really was coming out with this game, and he was like, yo, what should be like a powerful move that... You know what I'm saying? It's quite hard to stop that iPod nose. It got to be the knees, man. The knees are awesome. But uh, this dude head damage is really good. And look at this flying knee. Now, if you guys watched my pack opening earlier, you guys know that I said if you have these great moves, they're very taxing to your stamina. Now, I'm getting rocked right here. Did you see that uppercut? I literally should be going down right now. I have body damage, massive head damage, but I'm still in the fight. Now, you see that flying knee that he just threw and that spinning back kick? His stamina is depleting faster than he could say, ouch. So I'm just going to let you know now. When I drop these knees on him, you guys already know what's going to happen, man. Muay Thai knees. He doesn't know what to do. Now, he doesn't have massive head damage. He's on the ground. He's recuperating. But once I get into my 1-2 game, he's not going to be able to stop me. So I just want to let you all know, man. Hey, if you got these flashy moves, man, you better come in here with some stamina. <laughs> you best believe that. But uh, he's still throwing kicks. I don't really see him throwing any punches, really, man. He's throwing massive kicks. And sometimes it's hard to block kicks because I don't know if it's coming to the head because he has a spinning body kick and a spinning back kick, head kick. So it's all good. But I still got these knees, though. <laughs> I still got these knees. Yo, it's disrespectful what I'm doing to him. But I told you guys, man, in my pack opening... That move, that tie clinch move, that immediately puts you in a clinch once you like try to initiate one, is a very cheesy move that any fighter needs in their player. Like when I create a fighter on a career mode, he'll have that move. Um, when I play ultimate team and I possibly get that card at, in gold or something, that fighter's gonna have that card. So you best believe, man, that tie clinch is definitely one of my go-to's because what happens is when you initiate the clinch. The first thing that comes to people's mind is they start trying to, like, transition. But what they don't understand is they're in a full tie clinch. Like, I automatically grab your head. So, that's an awesome move for me. But uh, it looks like he's starting to throw punches because he realizes that all those kicks he's throwing is starting to tire him out. Now, he's throwing high flying knees and stuff like that. But I'm starting to see those moves. Like, remember when I told you guys in my pack opening that I see moves coming? Once you start, like, relying on those moves to be a good fighter, you really start being one of those people that can be read easily, like. Because once you step back and you, like, initiate, like, a dash, I know that you're probably coming in for a head kick. Once you, like, get close to me, like, real close, but you haven't thrown any punches to get in, I know you're trying to come with a flying nil. Knee. So, it's like, you know, what are you going to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? But he's doing very good with the body kicks. I will admit he's trying to uh, take down my stamina. But this ain't a fight over stamina because I'm not going to use this fight to deplete stamina because I know that he has knockout kicks. Now, uh, it does look like I have less stamina than him, so 
most likely before this fight he probably did equip some fitness stamina uh cards but i don't need them i just need to make sure that i don't get rocked again you know um in the first round it was very scary um he hit me with a couple shots kick uppercut and kicked me in the body so i just got to make sure i stay away from those uh shots and make sure that I, um make sure i block man blocking is very key man i tell you that and um, I'm also trying to move and stay out the way. Now, the thing about moving and blocking at the same time, you lose stamina, you know. So what happens is if you're moving and dashing and stuff like that and you're holding a block, your stamina isn't uh, regening fast enough. So I have to make sure that I don't keep moving and blocking at the same time because I'm going to end up losing stamina and then he's going to rush in and just murder me. But uh, he initiates the clinch here. I'm going to go for a nice little over-under. Then I'm going to come back out to a singer with collar. Then go back to over-under because he's transitioning as well. Now, once I get to my single collar, I can get to my tie. And you know what's coming. Knees. <laughs> going knees deep in this bowl. Pause. <laughs> Another big knee. I don't know how this fighter is not getting knocked out. Maybe he has a plus 30 chin and a plus 30 stamina card or something. Like... I don't know. Like, this dude is just is not going down from my knees. Now, he's throwing solid shots at uh, my body, man. I will admit. So, it's and it's, and it's funny because, you know, I want to block the body shots. But the body shots really don't matter if he goes body head. Because once he does that, man, I'm confused. And then, you know, it'll be over. But uh, you guys see that his head damage is really, really red right now. And he's stamina depleted. So, I'm going to go for the 1-2 here, man. You see that? Me, I'm all about the 1-2. See the uppercut? 1-1-2. One, one, Look, I'm telling you, it's coming, man. Let me get my stamina back real quick. I'm letting me throw a few shots. Look, 1-2. Up, up, got him. Oh, oh, almost. Oh, nice kick, nice kick. Hold up, keep throwing shots, keep throwing shots. 1-1-2. One, one, ah, too far away. Hold up, keep keep going. One, one, two. Ah, ooh, it's so close. I know it's so close. Here it comes. Here it comes. I know it. I know it's close. Oh, flying knee. That's the one I wanted. Tie clinch. Ah, let's go. Hold up, big knee, big knee. Redhead, redhead. Come on. Uh huh. Kick. Nah, you gonna get mounted this time. Mm mm. Nah, you about to get mounted. Ah, ah. <laughs> Yo, he does not want. Oh. <laughs> hey man, I'll let you up. I'll let you up. Don't worry. Come on, come on. He ain't got no stamina. Ah. Good head kick. Good head kick. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get him this round. Um, looks like we got to go into another round, but it's all good, man. It's all good. But uh, what I will say to you guys is, man, make sure you work on your one-two. If if you are playing UFC, work on your one-two, man. If your one-two is clutch, you'll be good to go, man. But um, I'm putting massive damage on this ball face with these knees. I'm not really cutting anything, but, hey, what I can say is I'm putting damage on him, and I know... Once I work on my one-twos and get them on the ground and stuff like that. Uh, you know what I'm going to try to do? I think I'm going to try to go to the ground here and show you guys a little bit of ground game. Because I've been showing you a little bit too much clinch. You guys think I'm a cheesy player. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and clinch. Get him one of these knees real quick. See if he fall. Because he's obviously not getting knocked out by my knees. Because my stamina is so depleted. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, let him up real quick. Let me get some of my stamina back. I don't want to mount a guy and then not have stamina. But uh, that was a good combination there. I backed up a little bit. Got got hit with a nice little hit uh, reaction. But uh, this guy, man, his stamina is, like, really depleted. Like, I know I can take him down. One, two. Ah. Oh, look at that red. That red. Yo, I'm like a bull right now. Yo, I just want to take him down. Ah. One, two. Right. Uppercut. Oh, my God. He is laying shots. Uh-oh. This is the one. Boom. Oh, his stamina is so depleted. Mine is depleted, too. He's not going down. All right, come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. This is the mount I wanted. Let's go. Let's work for it. Oh, let's work for it. Uh-oh, it's all over. It's all over. He couldn't even take two or three hits on the ground. He was literally in full guard and got knocked out, yo. Check out the Anderson Silva uh, celebration, though. But look at this. I hit him with a hammer fist, and he was gone. Look at this. He is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Look. Boom. This is crazy. I literally just mounted him with one shot. That one shot. Look, he was he was knocked out before I hit the hammer fist. He was knocked out before the hammer fist. Holy cow. I hit this dude with a shot coming into a freaking... Oh, my God, yo. UFC cheese right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens when you take too many shots to the head. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, but um, just to let you guys know, this is a new game face um scan gimmick. Um, I went on the website, uploaded some new images of myself. I hope you guys like the new images, man. Um, in my last couple videos, people kept saying that uh, my fighter looked like Stefan Marbury, but uh, right here, I think this fighter looks like me, man. I, I, but uh, he's more slender in the face. You know what I'm saying? Your boy got to lose some weight in order for me to look like my actual fighter. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I told you guys, man, I'm fighting online now. No more offline stuff. I just did that to show you guys what the CPU was like. But um, this is IKC signing out. Don't forget to like the video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 400,000 subscribers. And uh, make sure you leave a comment below on what you think about this game, man. Um, by the way, uh, if Fossil underscore man 123 ever see this video, GG. <laughs> I'll holla. Peace, y'all. Yeah.